What is good guys and girls of YouTube? My name is Justin Omoe and I'm here with the video for you guys and girls to help yourself with your music, artistry, and such. Lately I've been getting comments about exporting tracks. How should I do it? What should I do it? What you know what's the best format and such. So for starters, let's say you want to export this sound, the project. Go to file export and then select the right one that you want wave file mp3 file and i think there's other files there but yeah or you can easily hit Control r for wave or Control shift r for mp3 now if you're thinking like what the hell's a wave what the hell's an mp3 don't worry i'll go over these right now a wave file is a raw audio format data waveform data this will not have any sounds compressed unless you change like the bit depth but these are going to be the raw formats that are intentionally used when you are either working over it or you know sending it to somebody to do some work on the reason why it's a wave file and it's a big file is because it contains all the data that you have been using it's not going to be separate files unless you select that option but one wave file will have all these sounds put together I do understand that Bandcamp only uses WAV files for some weird reason, so if you do have to make your song a WAV file, then go ahead and do that. And Bandcamp, I guess, will compose it down, compose it, compress it down for you. If your project is finished or you intend to give it to somebody to listen to, that is when you'll use the MP3 function. The MP3 is the compressed format of the WAV file downscaled basically to give you the best saved space and listening for you know universal products such as mp3 players cd players you name it ipod ipad tablets computers whatnot depending on the bit sample the kb per second will give you different types and styles starting at the biggest 320 kilobytes per second will give you the whole range of the sound it'll be great to use when it comes to quality listening is mainly used within the digital age nowadays because we have enough space to hold a lot of those 320 kb per second files if it's intended for cds back in the day they used to use 128 kilobytes per second and that is to save space but it does have a distinct difference within the higher frequency range and that's because again the old days you know we didn't really care too much about the higher quality frequency sounds we haven't heard it too much but yeah it does help it does give a different feel to um, your sound in comparison to the 320 kilobytes per second whatever floats your boat go ahead and use you could go as high as 320 kilobytes per second for mp3 all the way down to like 64 kilobytes per second and you could test it out yourself it'll sound very different by the time you hit the 64 kb per second it's gonna sound like kind of 8-bit ish in that field it's gonna sound De well, degraded in the field. There's a couple other formats. There's one named OGG. You don't really have to worry about that unless you are working with, I guess, computer files or um, gaming or I don't, I don't know. You don't really have to worry about the OGG. There's one called FLAC, which is a free lossless audio codec. This is basically a WAV file compressed, but you don't lose any quality for it. This is like the second best thing to use when it comes to listening to hi-fi quality sounds it's not really recommended just stick with mp3 yeah i talked about bit depth before with sample rate so go ahead and click the i button if you want to learn more about the depth and yeah oh by the way at the top there's going to be something known as a tail but the tail is basically the end what do you want to do with the end do you want to cut it that means immediate cut when you're done with the pattern it just chops that'll be an immediate cut so you know if the song goes like eh, and you haven't set out of the cut eh, cut if you want it to wrap this will basically put the end tail around to the beginning so it sounds like it's a loop of some sort it, you know it's at the end in the beginning and leave remainder basically leaves it until it hits that zero mark until it's dead and uh since i'm at the top there's one that says mode uh pattern and song 
pattern is basically gonna be the pattern in the pattern selector. It might be four seconds, eight seconds, however it's set. Song is gonna be the actual playlist. If you hit F5, you know, that whole project side there, it's gonna be the playlist. If you do highlight a section of the playlist, it will say selected. So keep in mind, if you don't get the whole song, that's probably why. Down to the tab where it says quality, there's gonna be a tab that says resampling. This is going to help your computer process the sound in a better way the higher number you go. It will take up a lot of your time to export and some people you know they want to save time so they go lower quality resampling. If you want to don't worry about the time you want more better quality put the quality all the way up to like 512 point sync and you will you know take more time to export the file but that will give you you know all the data that you want yeah. HQ for all plugins. This is an option to give you high quality. It's basically doubling the higher frequencies. It's kind of like giving you more crisp feel. If you want it, you could select it. You don't have to worry too bad about it. Dithering, that's the whole thing about the whole click, click, clicks in your sound or giving a more of a saturated kind of feel. That's an option. If you want, you could select it. It will help your sound sound, I guess, more of a natural style to it. Disabling maximum polyphony will disable, you know, having multiple notes hidden and, you know, going on within the sound. You don't have to worry about that option too much. And same with the alias free TS-404 that has to deal with, um, uh, synth, you know, some, some extra shit. You don't gotta worry about that. In the miscellaneous tab, we have something that says save slice markers. If you make markers within your project, say you want to label it intro, chorus, and such, that's the time markers, it will be embedded into the WAV file. You'll see it within the sound file. That's if you want to save it, that will help people have certain markers like, okay, this marker here indicates a change in the song structure. That's good if you want to, you know, work with other people, if you don't. If you want to have it in there, you could do it, but not really much of a matter in that case. Save Acid Dice has to deal with Sony Acid Pro. If you don't use Sony Acid Pro, don't worry about it. You don't have to select it for nothing. Split mixer track, remember I said in the beginning how you could, you know, make the wave file and then split tracks, different multiple things. That's the option you could select. It definitely will help. What this does is split each mixer track that you use in the mixer to have its own exported track as a wave file. And this will definitely help have organization and allow you to tweak each and every one of them if you send it to somebody else to work with. This is definitely better than having just one wave file that has everything around it. It gives more controllability. Let's say you want to do stem mixing. Instead, you could have groups like the drum group or you have like the instrument group and then you could, you know, balance those off. Those definitely help when it comes to collaborating. Like if you do send your songs to Mix and Master with me, that would be an option. And lastly, the trim PDC delay. To be honest, I don't remember it, so yeah. And yes, that is it. All that is left you'll have to do is go ahead and hit either background render that basically minimizes it, let it do a job, and you could go on the internet or whatever, or you could hit start and let it just export and do its you know work all right there, and you could look at the bar as it goes along and have fun. I forgot to talk about the first part. When you do hit the um, Control Shift R or File Export, you'll have to select the right destination where you want it to save. That bug has to stop. And when your file finishes, it will be in that destination where you set it to be. Congratulations, you finish exporting your file to do whatever you wish to do with it. And the camera died. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Like the video if you like it. Share it to your buddies who's, you know, in the 101 section of FL Studio didn't finish. I'm over here sweating because it's Florida. I'm in the backyard. Again, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want. My name is Justin Omoe. Oh, one more thing. In the description, I'll have my links to extra social media sites you could get up to date with my life or what i'm doing you know i have some sneak peeks and yeah beat channel if you want go ahead and click the i button you'll hear the beat that's playing now or click the annotation whatever i'm done peace out